Okay, I'm getting ready to update the firmware to 1.2.2, and that's going to get rid of the compass uh, down here in the very bottom center of the screen. For me, that's the most useful tool on this entire uh, screen here, and uh, I use that in order to orient myself directly behind the drone at all times. If I turn to the left, you'll see the uh, drone goes to the right, and if I turn to the right, the drone goes to the left. So anytime I see it out there, all I have to do is turn myself until the drone is pointing directly in front of me. And the little triangle indicates the direction that the drone is flying. So right now it's heading directly ahead, away from me. And I can also see the distance indicator on the left to let me know how far away it is or how high up it is. If I turn the drone to the right, like I'm doing right now and going down the fairway here, and I continue to stand in this direction, you'll see that the uh, drone goes off to the right here and I would need to turn and face it in order to uh, keep a good strong signal. So I've done that right now. I turn to the right, now I'm facing the drone again. And I'll go ahead and turn the little drone around the triangle until it's facing me directly. And I'm returning home now, manually of course. And that's how it works. I'm going to go ahead and update it, and we'll compare the results. Like I said, I've been a little reluctant to do it because I really like this. The new one is quite different from what I've seen, and uh, we'll go ahead and update that, give it a try, and see how we like it. Okay, I've got the new firmware update installed in the drone, and I found out you have to also update your, uh, your Fly app before it'll actually take on your iPhone. So I've got all that done, and now it's working. I've got the new Compass uh, installed on there. And uh, first thing you'll notice is that everything is in the middle right here. Um, the drone, myself, and home and everything. And the drone is pointing pretty much toward True North. Let's see, I'll turn it a little bit. Yeah, it's right at True North right now. So True North is always relative to the direction of the drone. So the drone is pointing right at True North. If I go up a little bit here and I give it right stick forward, you'll see that it is heading right toward the North Pole. And the other cool thing is, you notice those two little wings right there? That indicates that the right stick, the throttle, is pushed forward all the way. If I reverse that and pull the stick toward me, you'll notice that the wings are now below the drone and it's going in reverse. So that is a pretty awesome feature right there. I really like that. Now the next thing is your right stick when you roll it to the left or to the right. And uh, let's give it a left roll and you'll see what it does. I'll roll to the left and watch, see what the little wings do? They actually turn to the left there. Now if I do the opposite and go to the right, it goes to the right. So that is really awesome. That's very similar to a, uh, the artificial horizon and a regular plane. I used to fly many years ago and it had a little compass looking thing in there like that that would show your wings relative to the horizon. So very cool that they did that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the drone toward me and you'll see that north swings around to the back. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that north is directly behind the drone right now. And coming down toward myself. Okay, one thing I forgot to show is how to access the compass. So you'll see the square box over here on the left. On the very bottom right-hand corner, you'll see that little icon there, kind of a triangle-looking thing. You tap that, and that brings up the compass. Now I'm standing directly behind the drone. If I walk around out here, you can see my location on the compass there. 
relative to the drone. So I'm on the right side of the drone and the right side of where it's pointing. And as I go around, you'll notice that it kind of follows around the drone there. Now I'm directly north of the drone. And I'll just continue all the way back around here. Now I'm to the west of the drone. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, so now we're taking off and I'm directly behind the drone, I'm north of the drone and I've got the drone pointing to the south. And you'll see that little blue dot, that's me. And of course the yellow dot is home and the drone is pointing directly south. Well, let's go up a little bit here. Head straight on out. Again, you can see the, uh, the little wings that are up above the drone. You can see where home is directly behind the drone. I'll turn the drone this time, I guess, to the right until it's pointing directly at home. So that's how you bring the drone back home to yourself. You make sure that the triangle, which is the drone, is pointing directly at home. And then you go forward and you bring it right back to yourself here. I'm going to bank a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'm standing right next to the drone, about five feet behind it. And you'll see everything is clumped together there. The drone, the home point, and myself. And uh, if I use the rudder and turn to the left, okay, you can see relative to true north that now the drone is pointing west. Same thing if I continue another 90 degrees. To the south pointing right at me and uh, yeah so you can see relative to the uh, direction that the drone is traveling that's pretty cool now I'm heading directly east and continue on another 90 degrees and we're heading back towards true north again so that's a pretty cool feature it looks like it's tracking perfect just straight as can be Let's bring it back to myself. So again, you just turn the rudder until it's pointing directly at home. There it is. Nice. A little 360 there. Now use the uh, rudder and the bank at the same time. And a little left rudder and left bank. That gives you a nice coordinated turn. So if you're on the drone right now, you'd actually have your center of gravity directly down. Yeah, I really like this new compass. That's a great feature. Okay, so I've got the drone out there about 358 feet, 29 foot up. And as I turn myself around, you'll notice nothing's happening here as far as the compass indication. So it is a little trickier to figure out where to point the antenna so that you know you're pointing directly at the drone. In this case, I'm heading directly away from myself. I can see the distance increase as I give it throttle. So I know I'm pointing right at the drone. But if I turn to the left like that and I go out there a little ways, it can be a little tricky. You can use the north indication of the compass to kind of give you an idea, but it's not quite as handy as before. But the other features of it I really like. Okay, so now I'm out there. Where the hell's the drone? I know I went off to the left a little bit here. So I'm kind of pointing in that direction, but if I bring the drone so that it's pointing directly at me. Okay, there we go. And of course I can just drive it right back home. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and try out the zoom on the photo option. 
So I've got it in photos right now, and I'll see if I can take a picture. There it is. Now we'll try to zoom in. Two power, that's pretty good. I can sure see it a lot better. Take another picture. Try to go a little higher. And I believe that's the limit. Is 2x on the uh, photos. However, if I go to the video, start shooting video, and now that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And I'm in 1080p. I thought you could get four out of it. I think you can if you zoom in here from the uh, right. But man, that is really nice. I like that a lot. Now let's just go ahead and fly around out there a little bit and have some fun. Just kind of banking and using my rudder to turn around to the left. And as you can see, I'm turning it back toward home. Now I'm heading directly home again, so it should be coming pretty much right back to me. Steer a little bit to the right. 150 feet to go. And there she is.